because of the different languages. Okay. Or, or uh, the woman is dressed in shalwar kameez. Okay? And then uh, his mother say, why does she wear, uh, the, you know, why doesn't she? That's what she's comfortable with. No, 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 no. But your uh, 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 cousin is uh, fighting. So, the Prophet said, look for compatibility. Look at the practical approach of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Practical. Look for compatibility. If you are the kind of person who can adjust and you can't come after so many years after the other things wore off. What do you mean wore off? Because everything new, you see the beauty in it. I still remember when I first saw Niagara Falls, I was mesmerized. mesmerized. Now, when I go to Niagara Falls, I don't see the same degree of beauty as I saw in 1976. I don't. It's normal. And, and, you know, a good marriage, look at that. The things I saw in my wife first, are replaced, I better be careful because her sister is sitting here. <laughs> so I have to word it properly. Okay. No. You so start camera. to see other things that now when you pull out in your memory, I used to love that. Not anymore. Not anymore. Those things that I used to be, you know, crazy about, they're normal. There are other things that should be bringing themselves over and new things all the time. So, compatibility, very important. Now, part of this compatibility, and I want now to uh, uh, mention it, and uh, some of you may uh, be part of something which is different. Don't take it as though it's, uh, oh, what is uh, Munir saying now? I'm saying what Islam teaches us. Look, and I want to talk about age difference, which is part of compatibility. Age difference. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, living in the 7th century, now we are in the 21st century, living in the 7th century, he conformed to whatever was acceptable in the 7th century. And by the way, quite often, when people talk about the age difference between him and Aisha, they think according to the 20th and 21st century. How unwise. You can't judge something according to the standards of, of the... If what he did was wrong, rest assured that the enemies of Islam were looking for something to attack Muhammad. They would have picked that one and they said, Aha, uh -huh, look, he married someone Big, huge age difference. But there were many, many, many factors. Compatibility, look at age. Now, compatibility says every culture, every age, every generation, every country, every climate, every climate, What's climate? Uh, uh, like a pattern of weather in one area? Hot climate, cold climate, okay? Has different uh, definitions of age difference and maturity. Prophet Muhammad married someone who was 15 
years his senior. She was 15 years older than him. And he married someone who was 37 years younger than him. He married someone who was very, very, very unattractive. Sauda bin Zama. And he would married one who was gorgeous according to physical attractiveness, Zainab bin Jahsh. He married a Jewish woman, Safiya bin Tuyay. He married a Christian woman, uh, 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 Maria, the Copt. He married, uh, 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 you know, uh, someone who was very uh, uh, good with personality and, and, you know, she had a presence, Um Salama. Uh, he, ma he married all different. He married someone who's related to him, Um Habiba bint Abi Sufyan. Uh, he married from different parts of the spectrum to show that there will come times if the conditions are right, you can marry from those categories. But it's not for everybody. It's not for everyone to marry someone who's 37 years younger. Because if you are living in the 21st century in Canada, you don't go and marry someone who's 37 years younger than you. And, uh, you know, if you are living, let's say, in uh, 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 a country where there is lots of, let's say, uh, physical attractiveness around you. You walk in the street and, you know, people are presenting the physical beauty. It doesn't mean because you are such a good Muslim that you will marry someone that is not physically attractive and then you will go and walk on Richmond and Dundas and you will see physical, I'm now retracting to what I said. Okay, not retracting, I'm saying it's what was wrong. I'm going back to what I said, okay? And, and say, no, 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 I am really, uh, this doesn't matter to me. Yes, it will. Because if you will walk on the street and you will start to look at others and say, you know, I wish, I wish, I wish. No, therefore, you've got to, if you have the means, if you know, that this is what you want and this is what will make you stable in your family. Because I've seen cases that I had to help to solve the problem. People coming. They did the wrong thing. And they said, you know, after we discovered what was going on, they've been on the internet to the wrong places. And when I said, why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? You know what was the answer? He said, because I've never seen my wife look beautiful except when we had to go to a wedding. Which means that my wife didn't care about her looks when she was with me. She cared about her looks to show the people at the wedding that she's attractive. Not me. I'm the one who matters. And the same thing goes for the men, by the way. But we're coming to the men. We are coming. Don't think that it is all, you know, yeah, we're coming to you. Okay. There are many men who, you know, they are shaven. They don't have a beard. But they don't care. They let it grow. And it is, you know, it looks like a thorn on their face. And he's smelling uh, sweat. He goes and work outside in the yard and then comes inside and yeah, looks terrible, smells terrible. Why are you looking at your brother? He, he smells terrible. <laughs> therefore, therefore, we have to see now age difference. Let me talk about Canadian standards here uh, and, and 
it is the most acceptable these days. It is preferable. If there is some age difference with the wife being younger than the husband, okay? And there are some physical as well as psychological, as well as, you know, cultural uh, factors that would suggest that it is better if the husband is older than the wife. Now, are there exceptions to this rule? Absolutely, there are exceptions to every rule. But it is preferable if you will find someone who is a little bit younger than you. What's a little bit? It varies, again, it's cultural. It's cultural. I would say maybe seven, six, five, four, three, two, you know. Uh, if we go to ten in certain cultures, that's okay, you know. Uh, but these things vary, but it is preferable if there will be some age difference, okay? Now, another That last, among the four things that one should look for, is the religious upbringing of the woman. That's what the Prophet said. Limanaha, wa jamaliha, wa nasabiha, wa diniha. Deen. Fadl far bidhat al-deen taribat yadak. He even ended that hadith by saying that if you if you find all four, good for you. Good for you. If you can only find one, then make sure that this is deen. Even if there's no beauty, whatever we talked about. If there isn't, what shall you do? Okay, then it is deen. Because deen would preserve the family intact because there is always something holding the family together. And that is the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the love of His Messenger, the love of reading the Quran together, the love of going to the masjid together, the love of having something that is tying the family together. And that really is, is, is amazing. It will, it will bring the family together. Deen. Deen is a powerful thing if we are... Uh, uh, taking it as it should be taken properly, okay? فَضْفَرْ بِذَاتِ الدِّينِ تَرِبَتْ Now, uh, I will introduce something that is not very well known to, I would say, 95% of Muslims. They don't know it. But I would like to introduce it now, okay? Uh, Oh no, before I introduce it, I almost forgot to talk about men, okay? How you should really uh, look at the man. If the Prophet mentioned physical, physical attractiveness or personality or that general beauty of the woman, that was not part of the dictionary of Prophet Muhammad when it comes to the man. 